So I want to know, Lori Loughlin, will her case be dismissed? Now, she's guilty as sin. However, they're hoping for like a technicality here. Because apparently, the um, testimony, some of the testimony that the prosecutors have was obtained by some, not dubious means, but they were obtained by some forceful means, is what the defense is saying, is that not necessarily duress, but did you put unduly pressure, uh, unduly pressured our, our witnesses? Like, you, you got your testimony through bullying, basically. And there was some, I think it was FBI agents or someone who said that, you know, the way that they were questioned was inappropriate or something, something, something. And so if you have a doubt over the information or how the information was obtained, then you could possibly try to jump for a mistrial or, you know, something like that. So will it be dismissed? because of the way the information was obtained. There's a page of wands and the lovers. King of wands here, the justice and the two of wands. We are preparing for that right now. The nine of pentacles is around the king of wands. So there is a, a sort of an upswing in, um, in the lawyer's activity. There might be even, oh, I get the sun. I think that I think she might be off the hook here. That's interesting. I think she might be off the hook here. Because it's between Justice and the Page of Swords, so there's going to be some bad news, either for or to the Justice system here. So let's ask, who will she be found guilty? So the chariot. Seven of swords, strategy around the chariot. Chariot is slow movement, self-discipline. There is defending here with the seven of wands. There's the star. There's good luck for the future. The hermit. And the two of pentacle. There's imbalance. Nine of pentacle. Two of swords. This might be a mistrial or off trial or shoot trial or whatever it's called, but I think she might be off the hook here. Interesting. 